yeah, well, of course, have been a very special record now. Uh, of course, winning the first Grand Slam is always special, and Roland Garros starts uh, a love story there. But at the same time, it was uh, a racket that I had a huge success during all 2005. I won, I don't know, 11 titles, I think, during the year. So, yeah, I've been a, a great year, unforgettable year. At the end of the season of 2005, uh, having a very important injury of my, of my foot, uh, and winning again Roland Garros 2006 uh, was one of the most emotional victories for me. You know? So I've been so so special because uh, have been a lot of doubts during uh, that that period of time without playing. So yeah, have been a great racket and I, I enjoy it. Being honest, um, 2007 is this kind of years that I don't remember a lot from Roller Garros, you know, it's, it's a year that, uh, I don't know, I don't know why, but it was a year that I didn't play fantastic, I didn't play bad, so I don't have a lot of memories of that year, no? the best memories I won, <laughs> so that was, uh, yeah, it was a great, great event, no? but yes, 2008, uh, probably I played one of my best Roller Garros without a doubt, so probably, mm, Maybe it's the year that I felt a little bit more uh, comfortable, or a little bit more sure that uh, if nothing happens, uh, I'm gonna have uh, a, a very good chance to to finish with the with the title. No, I was I had this kind of feeling during the event because I felt uh, myself playing well since since the beginning, and um, uh, yeah, the matchups was were very very comfortable. No? So yeah, I played a great final, uh, but. I really believe that I played even a better semi-final against Novak. It's true that I remember uh, the, same, the third set uh, was tough at the end, but I was winning uh, two sets and uh, I think double break in the, in the, in the third or 4-1, something like this. And then it was so difficult, it was a tie-break. But uh, first two sets and a half have been a, a great level of tennis, so great memories of that year. Je sete match, Nadal. Final was against Soderling, yeah. Uh, yeah, 2010 had been a special year because it was the first year that I came back to, to Roland Garros after losing. You know, first time that I lost in Roland Garros was 2009. So I came to Roland Garros uh, in 2010 after, yeah, after losing for the first time. So it was a little bit uh, different situation and um, yeah, it's been a, a good event. I remember being uh, very nervous before the, the final because I lost to Soderling the year before, so uh, playing the final next year against him again. So it's been uh, some, yeah, some nervous moments before the, the match start. But uh, when the match started, I felt comfortable, I feel good. And it's been a, an important victory for me, of course, after losing 2009. 2011 probably is the is the year that I won Roland Garros that I I felt that going to be a good chance to lose because I I lost finals in Madrid finals in in Rome against Novak both times I know Roland Garros is a little bit different always I like that court but being honest that semi-finals between Novak and Roger that have been a, a fantastic match. I, I was happy that, that Roger won that match. <laughs> so I felt with more chances in that final against Roger that, than, than in the game against Novak. No? And um, I had a very tough first round against John Isner. Uh, five sets, uh, it was a tough moment. And after that I played a, a good tournament. Uh, not, per not perfect, but it was a good, a good tournament. And then I played a good final, I think, against Roger, yeah. This racket in 2012 have been a, an important support because 2011, as, as, as I said before, I lost a lot of finals to Novak. No? And uh, 2012, uh, I played the final of uh, no, yes, I played the final against Novak after losing the final of Wimbledon, the final of the U.S. Open, and the final of uh, Australia against against Novak in a row. So. 
playing that final will be the complete Grand Slam losing finals against Novak. So it will be a hard, hard time. No? <laughs> so I mean, a very important victory. But 2012, I was playing great during the whole season. So I felt very confident. It has been a very important year for me, 2013. Probably is the year that I am more proud of myself of my of my career. After having uh, seven months outside of the of the tennis course uh, for an injury of my knee, I came back and uh, even having problems on my knee during the uh, the whole year, I was able to manage it well. No, and that semi-finals against against Novak is yeah one of the most emotional matches that I played in in Roland Garros. So, it has been so special, very important victory for me, of course. And the final against David, as a, a good friend, so share this moment with, with him was special for me too. That was a special racket for, for the clay and for Roland Garros. So it was uh, yeah, it's a, good, a good year, of course. Uh, it, was, it was a year that was a tough beginning of the clay court season for me, no? because I lost here. Uh, quarters, I think I lost uh, in Barcelona too. I don't know, was she with Fonini or with Almagro that year? And uh, yes, later was um, I don't know if that year was the victory against Nishikori in, in Madrid final that he retired. And then I lost in in Rome, but um, the final I think uh, with Novak, but it was a good final. Already. I felt myself playing much better. So even if I lost that that final, I, I felt uh, myself ready for Roland Garros. I, I felt that I recovered my my level of tennis, uh, my confidence, and I I really arrived to Roland Garros confident that I I can play well and I can fight for 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 have an important an important tournament and for a good result. So it happened. It arrived to the final and was a, a close match in the final, four sets I think against Novak. And, um, yeah, important victory of course. Uh, 2014 uh, have been not an easy year at the beginning with the injury that I had uh, in the back at the beginning of the season in the final of Australia. So mentally it was tough to recover. So yeah, it was a little bit up and down at the beginning of the season with some problems on the back. But I, I was very happy that I arrived at the right time, playing well in Rome and then playing very well in Roland Garros. So it was a, yeah, an important victory for me. I remember well that one. Yeah, well, special one because with the racket I won the tenth Monte Carlo, tenth Barcelona. I won the title in Madrid too, uh, and I won the the tenth Roland Garros. So <laughs> very successful racket. <laughs> uh, yeah, I've been a great year uh, playing. I think a great tennis since the beginning of the season and uh, holding the level almost the whole season. Uh, so winning uh, Roland Garros, winning the US Open later. So yeah, very, very special racket for me because after a couple of years with some injury, injury problems and yeah, with a couple of issues, uh, not easy to fix. And um, yeah, it's been a, a very important year for me. Roland Garros probably, as I said, of 2008, um, I didn't feel that confident, like 2008, but the results have been uh, fantastic. You know, I was not even close to lose a set during the whole tournament. So, in terms of result, probably was the less difficult Roland Garros that I won. So, very happy. <laughs> Winning ten times uh, Roland Garros it was. Uh, Amazing thing for me, you know, very emotional, very emotional moment. And the, the title by itself, uh, win it again, and but especially the party that Roland Garros gave it to me uh, with the crowd, with all the love that the people showed me there last year. So it had been a very, very special year for me. You know. So uh, have uh, only playing with this racket means a lot to me. But um, now we have to to do the right things to to talk about this racket. In, in a good way uh, about success and we're going to work hard to try to to make uh, of this racket a winner racket so we're going to work hard for that